Hello, Dope Tribe. It is John. Here, coming to you live from the dopefiends.co.uk. Get high with Teenage Pie. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I guess, felt like I needed someone to talk to about what happened on the weekend. I felt like I had, like, a near-death experience, pretty much. Like, I felt like I did die. I was so high on mushrooms. And all of my love of, like, always being on the other side, kind of. Like, I always liked the idea of being, like, the observer, I guess. Like, I liked the idea of um, <laughs> like if I was in a video game, I liked having the cheats, and I liked having like something like I don't know, like floating out of trouble, or being able to like glitch behind like a wall, so you're kind of like behind the wall. Like I was always drawn to like the glitches and stuff, and I always liked the idea of like being invisible and being like there but not there. I guess, and I don't know, and it kind of, like, I was so high on mushrooms <laughs> on the weekend that it, it felt like, like I was kind of on the other side, like, I don't know if, like, it felt like I, I could, oh, there's somebody driving down here, wonder what they're doing, I don't know why they're driving down here, it's like undrivable. probably going to do drugs. I'm just going to keep walking, I guess, because there's no way they can keep following me. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun weekend. Went to agro culture. Oh, they're backing out. <laughs> they realize there's no way to drive down here. But yeah, I went to agro culture this weekend. Justin texted me on Friday. Friday morning, and I, I got there on Saturday morning, and I guess everybody on Friday night had eaten a bunch of mushrooms, so, like, the atmosphere was good there, and everyone was, like, high as fuck. Like, only our neighbors sucked. Like, I don't know if he was, like, he made me feel like I was in a video game, and it was just, like, going up to the fucking computer and pressing A on him to talk, and all you could say was, like... It's like, um, it's like, do you have any, do you have any, do you have any drugs? Or, and do you have any, no, do you have any real drugs? It's like, it's like, it's like, no, I don't do any of that organic shit. <laughs> and then he was like, it's like, take it out, it hurts. Put it back in, it stinks. <laughs> like, over and over, like, all night long. Like, that's all this guy would say. Like, I don't know, he was hilarious. He seemed like a straight, like, programmed, like, robot. But yeah, I just went about my day, like, normal today and yesterday. So I just went to work and stuff. But, like, the when I was, like, coming down from being so fucking high on mushrooms, I was just like, really, really, really grateful to be alive, I guess. Like, I, I remember taking, like, this breath and, like, the air just tasted so good and, like, uh, like, what, I knew I was, like, gonna survive at a certain point when, like, <laughs> hey, shush. The guy just jogged past. The dog went nuts. I'm not walking the dogs. But yeah, I knew it was gonna be okay when I, when I, like, could recognize, like, feelings again. Like, when I could feel, like, that I was, like, when I stretched, I stretched out, and I, like, I could feel that that felt good, like, that I could notice the difference between, like, good and bad again, like, it felt like all of my fucking senses were, like, gone. <laughs> I 
I don't know, I've never been that fucking high on mushrooms or like, or acid or like anything. Like I've never been that high on psychedelics before. And it was like amazing, it was absolutely amazing. Like I should kinda, like I didn't record any of it, like I should, I wish I did, I guess. But all it was was like, like we were just like fucking, so fucked, like just like moaning and shit, just like, like, like done. Like physically, like I was, I couldn't even like recognize what I was doing. Like I just shut down. I was trying to like black out. I was trying to like go to my tent and fucking black out and just like, but there was no blacking out. Like me blacking out, it felt like I was like, uh, like I, I felt like I understood the meaning of life eventually. That like the meaning of life, like you, you try to live to avoid the alternative, like, like, death isn't just this black void, apparently, is what I was, I was under this understanding of, like, death was, like, like, maybe, maybe, like, just straight hard work, like, it seemed like if you weren't out here living, you were, like, under the surface, like, making it all work, and, like, like, running it all, like, there's, like, so many people, basically, like, uh, that are just, like, constantly working, it felt like, like, I felt like just for the universe to exist second by second, it was, like, it was, like, a lot of work for people, like, I don't know if they were people, but they're, like, essentially, like, probably spirits or whatever, I don't know, like, they, it was, felt like they were just doing all of the work. Like, there was, like, constant, like, people working frantically, like, frantically, like, with building these blocks, like, building blocks, like, building and building and building and building blocks, like, changing them, and, like, like, they didn't want to be bored, and they, like, couldn't be bored, like, like, and it wasn't all fun and games, but it was, like, it felt like it was, like, they were running the universe, kind of, or running the physical universe. Because, oh, I kind of went through the feeling of... Uh, like, where you feel like you kind of understand everything. And I, like, I definitely d didn't, but it felt like the universe was way simpler than you think it would be. Like, this was just, like, a bubble. And, like, the reason everything is the way it is, like, physic, like, how... Like, the way it is physically <laughs> is because it has to be that way, like, for it to exist. Like, like the alternative isn't, like, bliss or heaven or anything. Like, the alternative is, like, I don't know, like, tiny specks of energy. Like, this mass of energy, like, like, um, like a pile of sand, I guess. <laughs> like, but, like, it was all sand and it was all microscopic. Like, it felt like I shrunk down small enough that, like, there was there was nothing else besides just, like, other, like, particles around me, I guess, like, that I was maybe a particle of some sort, and, like, it felt like everything else was particles, and that it was just, like, you were jammed together, and, like, you were just, like, constantly, like, everything around you was just, like, working, and, like, grabbing a brick and putting it beside, and, like, grabbing this other brick and putting it beside, and, like, like, every thought I would have, like, I could see it building, like, like, bubbling up in front of me, like, it felt like, um, like, like we're energy, I guess, and like, we want to like, we wanted to like feel, feel, feel pleasure and feel like stuff, I guess, so we built it the only way we could, and that was through like, atoms and through electrons and through like, all of the different chemicals and like, um, organic, like, what everything is made up of, it felt like, like, they were constantly turning that energy, like, like, manipulating it into a, like, a, an atom, and then manipulating that atom into, like, something else, and, like, just, like, like, we just really wanted to, like, uh, see what we could do or something, like, like, I guess that's where people think, like, spirits come from, because it's, like, it felt like it was a bunch of spirits, it's just, like, invisible spirits that were, I guess, like, outside of the universe, outside of, like, physicalness. 
and then it was, they all wanted to really, uh, like, they all wanted to live, I guess. Like, they all wanted to experience something else, so they, ex like, built the Earth and built, like, like, the universe, I guess, and built, like, this, um, like, it was almost like a video game for yourself, but it's, like, a physical game. Like, I'm not describing this well. <laughs> But it like it all made sense, sense that we would try so hard to, like we built uh, the universe, I guess. Like we we are responsible for the universe, and this is the best we can do, kind of like. And like the way we think is, like a like we we wanted it this way, like we. This is the best we could do so far, and we've been like, we want it to get better, kind of. Like, we want to. And we want to just, like. We want the ideal world, I guess. Like, and I don't know what that is or anything. But I felt like we wanted, like. Like, pleasure, and we wanted, like, peace of mind, and we wanted, like, love, and, like. Like, it felt like I fully understood the reason why people have. Like. <laughs> families and why people get a girlfriend and like why like I just like was thinking about my parents and like it felt like my whole life kind of flashed before my eyes like in the series of like three hours like and it wasn't just like it wasn't just my life as like John it felt like it, my life as like like a human I guess like it felt like I was there at the dawn of like of making like the universe <laughs> like and it wasn't darkness or anything like it was like red like it was just like pure like moving like like particles i guess like any empty space would would have been particles like and it's like i think it must have been so small that um I don't know, like, an inconceivable small amount of, like, we're just, like, nothing. And then slowly, like, be able to, like, put these tiny pieces of, like, energy together to build, like, another, a slightly bigger piece of energy. And then, like, it's slowly together. And, like, we finally built, like, some universe that could, like, sustain a biological life, I guess. Like, it felt like once you die, like, you're not, you're still there to think and blah, blah, blah. But, like, it is better to be on Earth, I guess. Hey, dogs, you want some of this treat? There we go. Hazel. Yeah, we're just down here walking on the trails. Hazel and Bernie. Bernie is my brother's girlfriend's dog. Hazel's our dog, my parents' dog. She's older. Bernie's like a year. They're both, well, you don't know what Bernie is, but Hazel's a lab. Bernie kind of must be a lab of some sort. But yeah, it just felt like, um, like, <laughs> like everybody, like it takes like so many of these souls or whatever, like so much to constantly be, like, keeping the, like, even the most serene scene, like, just, like, a field of grass alive, like, to keep that going is, like, a lot of, like, constant maintenance and work <laughs> by whatever is below the surface. Like, it's, yeah. I need to research this more because it kind of, like, blew my mind, like, afterwards. Because me and Justin ate them at the same time. Like, just basically where that podcast is ending. Um, episode 6. Like, we ate them with the full intent of just going to the metal. Like, going to the metal show. And going and fucking listening to metal. And maybe that was the key, because there's so many times where I've eaten psychedelics wanting to get some spiritual journey out of it. And it's like, I don't ever. Like, I'll feel a bit more centered and stuff, but I don't know. Because we didn't eat, like, so much. They were in his, da like, glove compartment <laughs> for, since the last time we ate them. Like, he forgot they were there, and we just, like, made a tea and ate them. Like, shared a cup. Like, we just made a cup and shared it. 
I like, put a whole bunch of mushrooms in and just like ate the mushrooms too, but I don't know. It feels like I've definitely eaten like more mushrooms and like eaten like a lot of like acid before and like never gotten those kind of results before. There's like Like I really was appreciative to be alive, I guess, <laughs> for a bit. Like I didn't want to die. Like I don't want to die anymore. Like like I'd always joke about suicide and stuff, and now it's like the fastest, like, I'm pretty sure if you um, kill yourself, like, you would just go back into the, to the worker mass, basically, and keep the universe alive for, like, other people. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you, like, that you don't have to run the universe. Like, it feels like there's lots of other um, options. Like, it's wherever, like, the tiniest amount of energy would, would go, I guess. Like, like, you could, I think there's other universes that don't, like, inhabit life the same as ours. And now I'm just, like, sounding like a psycho, but that's why I am needed to say this, because I've just been thinking about it all day. Like, like if you kill yourself, like, you'll come back. <laughs> and you'll, like, like quite, quite quickly, it, like, seems like. It felt like I was, um... Like, I think when you go back there, you keep all your memories, but when you come back here, you can't have all your memories. So it's like, when you die, you have all your memories from all your past lives or whatever. Like all these, and then, and plus this one, so you're like, oh, I, like, let me go back out again. Like, I got this. Like, I can make a difference. Like, I can, I'm gonna just, like, go for it. Like, just streamline it. It's like, I'm gonna do... I don't know, like, that's really... It felt like I was definitely the good, like the meaning of life is to like help like the earth I guess or the humanity not like necessarily earth but like just like living things like it was just like to make it last longer <laughs> like like a pretty shitty meaning but it was just like the meaning was to just keep going just to keep going to keep trying like just make it better just like like good go advance in technology but like advance yourself and like advance other people and just keep pushing like it felt like the the people like myself or whatever like everyone that was under the scenes kind of uh like hated to be bored like hated not to be constantly working on something like i could think just a tiny bit and i would feel it like like the bricks start to build like it would just like bubble out like bubble in front of me i'm just like like i could see how like a thought turned into like a plan that turned into like an action that turned into like doing something that turned into like doing that which turned into something else like like it felt like I watched the whole history of like the earth like very quickly like it wasn't really that complicated like <laughs> like I don't know all the specifics or anything and I, it was and it's probably all just like the mushroom illusion but just it blew my mind like absolutely blew my mind like I was just like like just so high <laughs> so fucking high like I was ready for it to stop like yes yeah, so I like went to the show Justin was like no I'm staying here <laughs> and then that that was when I was just like okay I'm still going and then I remember it kind of like like sounded like just <laughs> like I was like like got really high and just got like almost scared. I was like, oh shit, so I'm on my own now. Let's go in here, guys. Let's go in this way. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like really high all of a sudden and, and that's, I think that's where I was trying to record when I was like, oh, I'm gooned right now. I'm in the, in the back of my vehicle. And like, cause I remember that pretty vividly. <laughs> And hearing that on tape gave me, like, shivers. I was like, oh, God, <laughs> like, how much did I record? And, like, because I remember the voices just, like, echoing, like, quite echoey and quite nice. And then that guy came up, and he was just like, I forget what he was even talking about. But he was just like, <laughs> or he's like, I wanted to buy some drugs from him, but but now he's passed out, and <laughs> I guess I'll rob him, <laughs> or whatever. And I remember... Like, I was getting pretty fucked by that point. I was just, like, laughed at him and stuff. And then, like, I was just, like, kind of, like, cracking up at him and stuff. And he was, like, edging away and, like, edged toward his, like, this group of people. And then I just, like, I just went back to my, my and he was just, like, like, but I could still overhear him talking to the other group. And it was just, like, 
like it's, it was like unreal. Just like I couldn't believe that I was living in like like that. They, this wasn't a video game, kind of. Like it felt like I was straight in story mode of a video game, and it was just like all these people talking were like like planned there, like put there, <laughs> like completely different trip than it ended up. But it just felt like like cool that. Like all these, felt like those are pre-recorded sound bites and stuff, and it's just like, just like, yeah, yeah. How are you guys doing? Like, uh, you got anywhere I can stay tonight? Like, uh. it was just like getting all these like weird like shots of of sound or voices and stuff that were that were like they were like too perfect to be true, and there's just like like this like, late girl talking about like the drummer of some band. Like, there's all these sound bites that you'd totally expect to hear at like this little metal festival thing, like. I don't know how to describe it, but then I was like, I'm still going to the fucking music at that point. Like, I was I was really high, like, walking toward the, the thing. I was just, like, walking on this gravelly road, like, to grass, like, walking to the school that they were playing it at, like, from the campground at the guy's place. But it was just, like, I couldn't believe how fucking, like, my eyes were, like, seeing through things, kind of. Like, it was, like... It's like I could see like the like it felt like there's like the grid on everything like it was just and everything had like the straight fucking Alex Gray like eyes and textures like but really small and like really intricate and like just like flowing and moving and like it was just like like I was like oh so this is what people are actually talking about like like these are true hallucinations and like like the road was like like doubling in front of me and like up in front of me and just like like perfect kaleidoscopic like. Like, I could barely see, but, like, by the time I got to the, to the thing, to the hall, to the school, it was, it was, like, kind of dark out, and then, it's like, I remember feeling like I was in so first-person mode that, <laughs> like, I was in first-person, it was just a video game, and I just, like, walked up, like, weirdly walked up to the guy, like, I don't even think he was a doorman, he was just in a band, and I was just, like, showed him my ticket, I was, like, have my ticket, and I, like, heard myself say it, and I just, like, he just like nodded me in and then I like walked in and like the band was like just starting and I like walked down the hallway and, like turned and then the band is like like starting to play and they're just like guitars like normal kind of and it, it just felt like I was just like watching in first person and it was just like it's like press A to, to throw up the horns and I threw up the horns and it was just like fist pump a little bit and it was like yeah and then it was just like <laughs> the singer started singing and it was just like it was this girl that was like, uh, like it reminded me of fucking Ursula <laughs> from The Little Mermaid. Like, you know, Ursula, the big, like, octopus, like, the villain. Like, she was, like, purple and, like, black and, like, like I couldn't even handle it. But she was just, like, <laughs> it was the best thing I've ever heard. Like, like, I had to sit down, like, really quickly and I left really quickly. But it was just, like, like, I don't know if she had, like, an echo effect on her voice, but it was just, like, her, like, laughing at, like, people, and it sounded like, it was, like, anti-man stuff, and it was just, like, so fucking weird. It was just, like, <laughs> Like, she was, like, she was killing it, but it just, like, broke me, and, like, the guitars were just, like, like, just drones, like, these weird, like, horn sounds. They're just, like, like, I've ne like if I want to hear what they actually sound like, I don't even know what fucking band they were. <laughs> Because I just want, really wanted to know, I want to hear it, compare them to, like, my real life, normal hearing. Because if they sound like that, it's like, they're really, they're the best band I've heard there. It's just, like, like her, like, cackle, like, laughing, like, just, like, hearty laughs, just like, <laughs> like, back and forth, and then like, the guitar just like, <laughs> And I was just like, I turned around and like, I sat down and then I left. Like, I was feeling like sick from that. I like fucking left like so quick. Like, I don't, they probably thought I was like, like appalled, but they must have been able to tell that I was like, not in my right mind. Cause I was just like completely blown away. I was just like, it felt like this straight video game. Like, this is what I've been waiting for all day. And like, this is what I drove all the way here for. And like, I can't handle it. <laughs> and I was like, I turned around and like went back, like, like, stumbled home, basically, like, all you could hear was the, like, I could hear that in my head all the way back, kind of, like, it was like, meow, boo, boo. like and 
that I can't even describe it because there's two guitars and like they're just like overlapping on each other and just like boom, boom, like the other one would start before the other one ended and like her cackling too because it was like she must have had an echo because it was just like <laughs> like start before the other one ended it was like <laughs> I just like heard that in the back, like it was just like like walking home, just like walking back to my cat, my tent, and my my vehicle, just like completely like like pushed by this sound, was completely like knocked over, like like and then I got to it and like sat in my vehicle and it was just like like it took a while to get home, like I didn't quite know I was stumbling like through like through lots like diagonally, like just beelining it home. Oh my God, Bernie has like a dead animal or something. Oh no. He's... What do you have? He caught something dead. Ugh. Holy fuck. 26 minutes. I gotta stop. I might not upload this. <laughs> I might have to find something else. <laughs> or, like, say it a bit more coherently. But let's see what Bernie has. What do you have? That looks gross. Hey, yuck. It's like a chunk of fucking skin. Yuck. That's not okay. That's like rotten as fuck. Yuck. Good, thank you for dropping it. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I don't even want to touch this thing. Yeah, let's go. Leave it alone. No, come on. Leave it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, that thing was just like... It was like the pelt. It had like a chunk of bone in it. It was just like green looking. Ugh. I mean, I'm glad you found it, but you didn't hunt that. That wasn't fresh. But yeah. That's my... That's some of the story. Like I was... Yeah, I'm just, like, I don't even know, like, I know it's real, and now I, and I know that I just gotta, like, try my best, <laughs> I guess is what it comes down to, like, like, the more shit I experience, like, the better it is, and, like, and, like, it is worth it to, like, help other people, and it is worth it to keep your, um, your shit good, like, try to make your life last long and good, and do a lot of things. And try to make it like set up for the, like the next time, like the next like actually care about the next generation. It seemed like 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 you might not be back next generation because and I like depending on how well, much you tried in this one. Like everyone that got put in this one, like in this this life that you're living right now. Like if you got if you're in this life, you asked for it, and you. Um, you asked for it, and you requested it, and you were like, you basically showed your credentials to everybody <laughs> else, and was just like, I can do this, like I can make a difference, and I can live this life. And they went through like extraordinary effort to like make it possible for you to live, like, like the. Like, the system set up here to, like, so our minds don't break while we're here. Like, like our ego and, like, how, like, we can figure out, like, si like science does explain a lot of things. And, like, a lot of stuff makes sense, like, once you know it. And it's, like, like gravity exists because of, like, the spinning of the Earth. And, like, uh, like it's, it's all there to make you, like, believe in what you're doing enough to, to try, kind of. So you feel like it is life and death. Like... I don't, I don't know. Because it is life and death. And the alternative to, like, being, like, alive is not calm. Yeah. Like, once I was kind of... Because I was in my tent that for, like, most of the time just, like, completely sprawled out. Like, like I couldn't even really, like... Like, I didn't know if it mattered that I was comfy or not, like... <laughs> like, I didn't, like, I was like, I can't feel it, like, how do I know if I'm even, like... 
like uncomfortable or not. <laughs> if that makes sense, like, like how to, like I remember think, like thinking that it was, it was all under, I was like, am I ever going to feel pain again? Like, like is it any of that real? Like, this doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know, because I've always wanted like the answers, I guess. And I've asked for the answers so many times. And then I get, I don't know, and I didn't like freak out or anything. So I, like I puked and stuff, but like, I was, I was like, I did this to myself. Like I asked for this, like I wanted this, like keep it coming kind of and, like to a certain point. So it just felt like I kept getting answers. Just like kept, like, like it was like gnarly and it was like the gnarliest music and like, I don't know. It was amazing. And I think you guys are the only ones that would fully or even partially understand that. Because I was just like, yeah, my parents, like, what do I do? Like, tell them that I, like, almost died and, like, rambled them for half an hour like this. Like, I don't know. When I was on mushrooms, I would have... But, yeah, yeah, you have to respect, like, the other people. Because everyone's here for you, kind of. So, like, if everyone... Like, it's not good to know the answers, if these are the answers they're saying. Like, it feels like, like, I don't need... Like, it answers your, like, questions, if you have them. But it, it's also, like, you don't need it to live this life to the fullest. Like, you just need to live your life to the fullest, and, like, I guess that's where Dharma comes from. It's, like... Like, doing your your duty, like, the, doing you the best you can, kind of. Like, it's really important to do you, like, the best you can. So you have all this shit to take back. Okay. Just try to, try to know as much and create as much as you can, apparently. Like, always be, always be given those... Those beneath the scenes souls something to do like no matter what you're thinking of like they're trying to kind of put that into reality like they just yeah so it's like you might as well like do it well Love you. See you later.